Hello and welcome back to another episode of Third Coast Reptile right here on YouTube. Today we're going to be making turtle mash. No, we're not cooking turtles. We are making a mash developed by Garden State Tortoise. I saw a video and I'll put that link in the description below about what they need to feed their turtles. And I like this so much, I thought we could try it right here on Third Coast Reptile. All right, we're gonna start with the meat. Uh, we're gonna do, I think this is about a half pound of turkey. Uh, we're gonna cook it and a substitute, if you don't wanna use turkey, you can use ground chicken. Um, you can use hamburger meat. Um, but today we're using turkey and we're gonna cook this up and then after we're done cooking this, it's important to drain all the juices out. You do not want to have this stuff saturated uh, with the liquid because it would deprive the nutritional value um, of the mash in its whole. So we're going to go ahead and get this cooked up real quick. Now that we got the meat cooked, we're going to be putting in our sweet potatoes. I sliced them up kind of like um, potato chips there, real thin so they can cut through them and, and eat them all up. And then I'm making sure our recipe is correct. Next we're going to be grabbing our mushrooms. These are portabella mini mushrooms. You give them to them raw. And I'm going to dump the whole container in here. Get them all in there. Next up, we're going to grab our carrots. I wanted to rip them into little pieces here. In hindsight, it's probably better to either shred them or um, uh, leave them whole so they can actually sharpen their beak because the carrots are hard. Uh, again, these are raw carrots. These aren't cooked. So giving them to them in this manner uh, is fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just a little extra work that I'm trying to do here get this done but you know you give them some carrots he, they love them they're they're uh, colorful and they love the scent of them as well just really struggling to get the big parts broken down I gave up on that one of course and I'm probably gonna give up on the, yeah, I'm gonna try one more time here, <laughs> come on. Oh, the struggle is real. Well, I'm gonna leave those two there. Um, I can, I'm probably gonna throw those in later. Uh, and then next up, we're gonna use our red leaf lettuce. And I'm gonna be shredding this stuff up a little bit here and throwing that stuff in as well. At this point, I'm realizing that my makeshift bowl is really inadequate for the amount of food that I'm putting together and I'm also realizing that I've made way more than I anticipated. This is going to be so much food. So much food. So now we're putting in our blueberries and then our uh, raspberries as well. Um, you can also substitute this again with some uh, you know, strawberries or um, you want to put some cantaloupe in there, that's fine as well. And then that'll do her. All right, we are out here. We got our Florida box turtle fed. Now, he loves this stuff. And the reason why I like the turtle mash and it kind of caught my eye is because it has vibrant colors inherently because of the food. And that attracts turtles to it. They know that that's a, a food source. And here we are getting a better angle. Um, 
the eastern box turtle that I have is extremely shy and will not come out, which is normal for box turtles, but this guy, he don't care. He's out, he's eating, he's hungry, and that's what he's gonna do. All right, fun fact, the eastern box turtle diet, or the box turtle diet, is very similar to the tortoise diet, the red foot tortoise diet, that is. And uh, I know what you're thinking with the protein. Protein is actually part of the red foot tortoise diet. So I wouldn't give this to them daily, given that it has so much protein in it, but it is a good snack for them. And considering I made so much food today, I didn't want to freeze it, and I thought it would be a good treat for them to kind of change it up. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for me today. Um, well, it turned out to be more of a, a tortoise mash than a turtle's mash. Um, my my eastern box turtle is quite shy, um, which inherently they are. So every once in a while, you'll get um, you'll get one that's not really shy and he's more friendly. But again, it's it's individual basis. So until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.